Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG. We're back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Le Mans Ultimate latest gameplay trailer that they just brought out yesterday. I have watched this already, but I want to see what you guys think. And um, yeah, for sure, it, it's looking pretty decent. So let's get stuck into the video and I'm going to stop the video and point out all the little things that I think are definitely telling for the future of this game. So the track is Sebring, if you haven't seen it already. So... Definitely a track that we've wanted to race on that we haven't really got to race on, so should be good, man. Graphically, I would definitely say this is along the lines of ACC, for sure. I even think in, in some instances it looks a little better than ACC. I think they must have recorded this on maybe like a, a 40, 4080 or 4090 or something because it looks insane. See, for me, I'm I'm more interested in the onboards, man. The Porsche definitely sounds like it should. I literally, I can't wait. I actually can't wait. <laughs> Take my money. There's the Corvette. It, it definitely looks extremely good on the eye. Um, time will tell what the gameplay is like, but I've got high hopes, man. Jeez, some deliveries nice. No, oh. <laughs> that I can already tell you. I can already tell you. Endurance races on this game are going to be intense, man. And what I do like is the fact that there is a lot of scope for DLC on this game, man. That's that's one thing um, that I'm looking forward to in the future. It's kind of I think it's going to be released sort of the same way how ACC was, where ACC was just a beta at the, at the beginning, and then obviously it grew into what it is today, and I feel like this is gonna go down the same route, man, but let's get back to the video. And quickly as well, guys, I I watched um I watched James Baldwin's video the other day about, you know, him grinding through his eye rating on on Sebring on iRacing and the, the stark difference of the way how the track looks on this game compared to how it looks on iRacing is like, wow. <laughs> it's, it's like two complete different levels, man. I know iRacing is still pretty much the pinnacle for multiplayer racing, but in terms of like visually, this game's on a completely different level as far as I'm concerned. This is going to be the UI. Obviously, the UI definitely seems a lot more simplistic. Kind of what you'd expect, like, when you jumped on, like, P cars or whatever. Sort of a simplistic um, view. I'm going to turn the music off for this bit, just in case it gives me a copyright strike. But looks very simplistic, man. Very easy to, to navigate what we want. Nothing too, too technical, man. It's all about the racing, guys. Turn it back up. So now we've got some. Now we've got some onboards, and for me, the onboards look incredible, bro. They've definitely got. They've definitely got everything maxed out, and this is definitely a um, a very high-end graphics card. I'll be surprised if it wasn't.
it looks extremely bumpy extremely bumpy so that's probably pretty accurate with um sebring because sebring is definitely a very bumpy circuit cars look a little bit twitchy as well now uh, we don't know what setups and stuff are going to look like on this game but the cars look it doesn't look like it's just you know easy to put your foot down and plant and throw it does look like it's going to take some skill I just can't get over how good the graphics look there. Oh, look at that Aston, look at that Aston's livery. Nice. I believe they are the, the GTEs, I think. So there, there's going to be a few cars that we can compare with ACC. Now this bit, I want to tell you guys, now you're going to see what it's like in terms of racing through the nighttime. And in my opinion, I actually think they've done this slightly better than ACC, slightly better than Kuno's because a lot of the time we watch like endurance races on ACC, you can't actually see, especially when it gets to nighttime, you, you can see, well, not like you, you should be able to see through the dark anyway, but just the effect of the lights coming through the darkness i believe this done better on this game from what i've seen so far so tell me what you guys think man leave it in the comment section below let's get dialed in it's going to get dark in the next 10 minutes It looks so good, man. It looks so good. Track temperature is dropping. Expect there to be less grip. So the colder it is, the less grip you've got. I don't believe they've got the 296 yet, but again, that will be left the open for DLC. Let's try and heat them up if we can. What, what cars are you looking forward to driving, man? This, this is the effect I like, man. This looks beautiful. For me, that they've done that a lot better than ACC, in my opinion. Definitely a lot of movement on the wheel, which tells me the cars are pretty tricky to drive. Box, 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 hit this lap. Whoa. Now we've got someone actually playing the game, so. He's in the cooking house. Listen, listen out for his breaking. You hear that? Sheesh. Definitely having to um, be a little bit careful on the exit of corners and the breaking seems like it is pretty tricky as well. Definitely very bumpy, man. Look at that. 
having to absolutely catch the car. I love it. I love it, mate. It definitely looks good, though, for sure. Let's stop it here as well. You can see sort of the the time delta and stuff like that. Nice and clean, nice and easy to read. It looks as if it's got the sector times as well, which is something that, you know, I've been asking for a long time for ACC to have. I love sector times, just like how you get it in F1 and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I feel like that's, that's all good um, things that we need in terms of just for, for the driver's for the driver's view when you're on a lap you sort of want to know whereabouts you are in terms of not just to your own time but how good your sectors are whether you're down and stuff like that you know how much time you need to find instead of just having just just this by itself man i, I like to look at the sectors and know what i've done so yeah oh he's got sideways how bumpy was that man There you have it, guys. 20th of February. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, mate, <laughs> I've got my wallet here, mate. Take my money. You can take it. You can have it, mate. You got it. And I'm not even going to lie. I've signed up for AOR, um, the new AOR season, and I know this for a fact. I'm probably not going to practice for any of the races because I'm more than likely going to be on this game, man. I'm going to grind it for sure. Um, for me personally, it looks good. Graphically, it looks excellent it's definitely excelling in terms of graphics i didn't believe that it would look as good as it did or i thought that you know what you see in the trailers wouldn't be what you see in the gameplay but for me the gameplay looks amazing man it actually looks dead on um in terms of like the handling and stuff like that we don't know but from what i can see i didn't see any of the onboards look like the cars were easy to handle or it wasn't really a time where you see someone driving and there wasn't a lot of like corrections going on. It seemed like you had to correct the car quite a lot. Now, I don't know if that means, um, I'm not sure if that means that all the cars will be difficult to drive or whether it's just the, the hyper cars or the LMPs or whatever, but for sure, it's definitely going to be um, interesting. Definitely something to get stuck into with the setups as well. Even when you saw the onboard of the, the guy um, having to hit the brakes, you heard how much he locked up the brakes, so... I don't think it's going to be a case of what we do in ACC where we slam on and, you know, and the car just slows down. I feel like we're going to have to be a little bit tentative on the brakes, make sure we actually have good braking techniques to actually get the car slowed down, which, again, is something good as well. What I would like to see more of is um, in terms of the hyper cars and all this other stuff, how much of the sort of, the, you know, like hybrid stuff are we going to have to mess around with? How much buttons are we going to have to map? And all that sort of stuff. Those, those are the things that I'm thinking about. I hope it's not a case where we need like a load of buttons to change this and change that. Like, I just <laughs> that's the only thing that puts me off. But for sure, man, it looks good. It definitely looks good, and it's not that far away now, guys. Man, not that far away. Ten days away from this recording. Um, tell me what you guys think, man. If you haven't seen the trailer, you want to go watch it all the way through. You can just jump on the Le Mans Ultimate channel. You can see it for yourselves. It looks amazing as far as I'm concerned, man. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So tell me what you guys think. Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.